In October of last year, Mojang announced that they will be requiring players to migrate their Mojang accounts to Microsoft accounts. I find this decision a bit odd considering it took Microsoft six years to finally do this after acquiring Mojang in 2014, but better late than never, I guess. This actually isn't the first time players experience an account migration, as I remember back in 2012, players were asked to migrate their Minecraft accounts to Mojang accounts. Back then, this was to accommodate the other games Mojang was making at the time, more specifically Scrolls and later Minecraft Dungeons. I think we all know about Minecraft Dungeons. Honestly, it wasn't too interesting to me. It kind of blew up for like two or three months, but then died off. But the other one that I think is more interesting is Scrolls. A real quick fun fact, Scrolls was a strategy digital collectible card game developed by Mojang the same Mojang that made Minecraft, which was hit with a lawsuit from Bethesda in 2011 because of its name bearing a resemblance to the Elder Scrolls franchise, which I think is a little bit of a stretch, you know, it's sounding similar to when the Fine Bros wanted to copyright the word react, I don't know, either way. In response to Bethesda's claims, Notch offered to settle the dispute in a trial of combat in Quake 3 multiplayer. Yeah. That actually happened. Notch offered to fight the executives in Quake 3 and whoever won would get the rights of the name Scrolls. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the lawyers over at Zenimax, being the stuck-up businessmen they were, didn't agree to those terms. In 2012, the suit was settled and the name Scrolls was licensed to Mojang for use in its game. Regardless, years later in 2018, Scrolls was later renamed to Caller's Bane anyways and released as free to play. I personally never really heard much about Scrolls after the lawsuit and looking back, it makes sense. It just didn't seem like all that exciting of a game. I don't know, maybe it does have a dedicated player base, but I also heard the servers died, and either way, the game's pretty much dead now. Uh, funnily enough, Microsoft actually acquired ZeniMax in 2021, so technically Mojang and ZeniMax, therefore Bethesda, are cousins now, similar to how Bethesda and Obsidian are cousins now, despite their previous drama with Fallout New Vegas. I'm still secretly hoping for a Fallout New Vegas 2, but it's probably not going to happen. Honestly, my first impression of Scrolls is that it's a weird granddad of those generic mobile games that you see in ads nowadays. Again, I don't really, I don't really see the appeal. Again, that's probably why it never kicked off. Then again, you know, Mojang releasing Minecraft was one of those things where it's like, how do you up that? Like, how do you, uh, I don't know. I think uh, Mojang's kind of stuck to Minecraft, and I think they know that too. Why does migration matter? Let's get back on track here. The 2020 Microsoft account migration news was huge at the time because it implied that it was required instead of being optional, like the first account migration in 2012. That being said, why is it so important that migration be required? Compromised accounts have been an issue for Minecraft ever since the game came out because Mojang didn't offer any two-factor authentication, captcha, email verification, anti-VPN, uh, security questions. I mean, they eventually added that one, but still. To log in, you didn't even need to have access to your email account, and all you needed to play multiplayer Minecraft was the email username and the account password. That's it. You didn't even need to log into the email. Like, you just needed to have it. So because of how easy it was to get into Minecraft accounts, a market sprung up to sell stolen ones. Accounts would be taken through security breaches on other websites, revealing emails and passwords, and hackers would cross-reference the same login information on a bunch of services, including Minecraft. Seriously, never reuse passwords on multiple websites. If any of those websites you sign up for has a breach, they have your password and they will try it on every major service that they could think of, including Minecraft or PayPal or Google. Seriously, I don't. Do not give any website your quote password that you use on everything. You shouldn't have a password that you use on everything. Have a different password for everything. And beyond that, since Mojang didn't check for bots and repeated login attempts, hackers could try and fail as many times as they needed to get the combination right. Sometimes brute forcing weak passwords that have common words or phrases in them. And this is the other thing. Not only do you need to have a unique password for every website, but you need one that's not English 
or any language for that matter no words phrases you should have a randomly generated 16 character letters numbers symbols capitals everything needs to be randomly generated and stored somewhere and i would recommend a password manager that's what i've been using for years master password isn't even stored anywhere online not even by the manager itself it's on a sticky note that i won't tell you where it is i would highly recommend it this would have been a great spot to get an ad uh, sponsorship but i didn't set that up so rip me i guess um <laughs> the problem has gotten so bad and the supply is so high that hackers are able to buy hundreds if not thousands of accounts for pennies each pennies like you can get an entire minecraft account that could play on hypixel for two cents that's an that's a thing <laughs> a required migration would leave behind all of these accounts again hundreds of millions of compromised accounts that cannot migrate because of the new owner not having access to the account's email which would have been used to verify the migration the migration would also make hacking accounts in the future way more difficult because microsoft accounts do support 2fa captchas have email verification security questions and a bunch of other safety measures making them much more difficult to get into i was under the impression that migration would be the end of hacking on hypixel or at least the end of people having hundreds of alts and using them to continuously hack between watchdog ban waves and starting over once a single account was banned and just repeating that for days weeks months using hundreds of accounts to never stop hacking of course, players could still install hacks and cheat in competitive game modes, but at least when they're inevitably banned, they won't be able to log back in without spending $30 on a new account rather than literally two cents for a hacked alt. Unfortunately, Mojang backed out at the last second and decided to make migrating not required, which means that these unmigrated hacked Minecraft accounts can still log in and harass Hypixel players unabated regardless almost a year after the announcement migration is finally hitting some minecraft accounts and mine was one of them as an incentive to migrate microsoft offered a special cape for those that took the time to do it and this is what it looks like the process is somewhat confusing because upon microsoft's release of the bedrock edition all java players were given a free minecraft bedrock account that bedrock account is separate from the java one yet when you migrate you can log in with the same microsoft account that has the bedrock account which is a little confusing at first i was afraid that my java username 30 virus would be overwritten by my bedrock name which is 30 virus one but as it turns out you still keep the same name on java and the gamer tag is reserved only for bedrock which is nice i had to take the bedrock name 30 virus one because my og name 30 virus was already taken by myself back in 2008 my microsoft account was the first ever time i called myself 30 virus because it was my xbox live gamer tag randomly generated when the name i wanted game freak was taken probably because that's the name of the pokemon uh, publishing company which i didn't know back then but there you go and that's the origin of my name believe it or not so myself and many others may have migrated but unfortunately because it isn't required hackers can continue to log into multiplayer without doing so meaning they still don't need access to the hacked account's email to log into hypixel this news was disappointing and after hearing that migration wasn't required i forgot about it and moved on that was until last week when i was browsing twitter and saw a very interesting tweet showing a screenshot of a poll on hypixel the poll asks would you be okay with a migration requirement to play competitive mini games my first thought was how could hypixel know if an account is migrated as far as i know that was a detail that servers would not be privy to and if hypixel tried to crack down on it there could be a lot of false positives and they could deny login access to real uncompromised accounts but that's when i remembered there was one detail that i failed to pay attention to during the whole migration fiasco and that's the cape like i said before players that go through the effort to migrate their minecraft account get an exclusive cape as it turns out it is possible to use the api in plugins to look up what capes a player has which is all hypixel needs to finally filter out accounts that don't have the cape and solve the problem of compromised accounts on hypixel if this change was to go through accounts created before the date of migration 
would require the cape in order to play competitive games, meaning that you either need to have email access to your old account in order to migrate, or have an account that was made after migration. The tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, of compromised accounts from before migration would no longer be able to play competitive game modes, meaning that the problem of career hacking, which has been plaguing Hypixel for over seven years, would finally be solved. Some compromised alts do exist with email access, but they are much more expensive and will be in much higher demand after Hypixel makes this change to require the migration cape. Accounts that are now $3 with, let's say, Hypixel VIP rank or whatever, would eventually rise to 10 bucks, 15 and at that point, hacking and getting banned over and over on a dozen accounts over the course of a day would prove to be very expensive. I guess the hackers are going to need to find a new hobby because otherwise it's going to cost them a hundred plus dollars a day just to hack in bed wars, which even if it didn't cost that much right now, it might cost them like maybe a few dollars a day to do that. What a pathetic hobby just hacking and making people miserable in a block game anyway. And with that, Mojang to Microsoft migration will mark the end of using cheap alts to hack on Hypixel. Of course, in an unintended way, Hypixel is known for using clever tricks like these to improve the player experience, such as using the scoreboard to show player stats, the lobby number, uh, for example, in Bed Wars, what teams are still alive, the Hypixel login IP address, that sort of thing invisible armor stands to make text banners for scoreboards and floating items like pets in hypixel skyblock making skins for a mob in skyblock like the goblin where they're looking at the floor to make it look like they have a hunchback uh, or using the boss health bar for objectives or announcements force opening books that don't exist to make uh, polls like the one talking about the cape the list goes on and on hypixel got to where it is no thanks to mojang themselves but by pushing the game's mechanics to their limits and using them in contexts that were never intended uh, who would have thought that a bonus cosmetic item to incentivize players to migrate would improve the experience of millions of hypixel players by making it more difficult to cheat on their server well done guys well with that that's it the, the hackers are done. It's over. If you want to hack on Hypixel, it's going to cost you the, the cost of a new account. You're going to need to buy Minecraft again if you want to hack on Hypixel, and it'll only buy you a few hours at most. And if you don't hide your IP address, you can be connected with a hacked account and then banned before you even start playing. So I think this is a beautiful change. I am so happy for Hypixel because I've been playing competitive games for years and I can't wait to log into Bed Wars and not have to wonder whether or not the person who just killed me was reach hacking. Of course, closet cheaters will still exist, but they won't last long. They will get banned. And finally, I never played UHC, but a lot of people do enjoy playing UHC, and maybe they can actually start playing. And I made rants before talking about how people used hacked alt accounts to snipe people and try to elicit money from them. That was a whole nother topic, but that would also die. So I'm very excited to finally see that Hypixel was accidentally given permission to finally end this garbage. So hopefully, all the rest of the minecraft accounts that are out there are given the opportunity to migrate and once that finally happens probably a few months from now hypixel is going to crack down on requiring the cape to log in and play bed wars sky wars uhc whatever and then all of these hacked accounts with no email access that cannot migrate will be left behind well anyways i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later